What's up mga kasining? So nandito tayo ngayon sa Baguio Botanical Garden. Today is October 8, 2020. So tara, explore natin. Okay mga kasining, so ang nakikita nyo ngayon sa harapan natin ay isa sa mga famous sculptures ng renowned artist dito sa Baguio na si the late Ben Hur Villanueva so this is a bronze sculpture and I remember yung title nito is The Builders medyo inaayos nila yung lugar so as you can see nawala na yung mga tanim uh, I think may barrier dito before so I remember no nung we participated dun sa paggawa ng sculpture na to ang pinakamahirap na ginagawa dito is yung pagkat nung bronze, bronze plate and then wini-weld sya after mong makat yung specific um, shape ito yung dating entrance ng botanical garden so ang nangyari ngayon they renovated the area ginawa na siyang amphitheater so tara sa taas meron pala dapat ditong waterfall ayan daw naka off siya ngayon so ito yung itsura niya ngayon naging amphitheater na siya tara dun let's go there So one of the things na hindi pa nila binago dito sa botanical garden is yung walkway which is good um, for my personal opinion I think mas okay yung ganito kasi mapifeel mo talaga yung nature <laughs> and the rocks and konting ayos lang siguro no? but as you can see ayan, may mga development silang ginagawa dito one of the common flowers na makikita nyo dito beautiful okay this area right here pababa to eh unfortunately well this area is close but pababa yan and then Papunta yan actually sa mas malawak pang garden dito. For some reason, I think this area is already a pri private place. So, hindi na tayo makapasok sa loob. Okay, moving on guys. Wishing well. I don't know if you need to throw some coins. Let me see if may coins tayo. Okay, ang wish ko ang wish ko na sana mag-end na tong pandemic na to and everything would be back to normal Okay Sana mag-grant yung wish, no? Okay guys, pahinga muna tayo So Unfortunately though, hindi pwedeng ipasok yung bike dito sa loob ng botanical garden, which is fine Siguro they're trying to preserve the, I don't know, the grass o yung lakaran dito. So, anyway, pwede natin tanggalin muna to. And since there's no one around, basically wala talagang tao, I think. Tanggalin na natin to. Minsan yun yung freedom na hinahanap mo every time you wear a mask na you really can't wait to take it off. Lalo na pag sa public area, like, like this. We have two options right now here on the road. Itong left, ito yung papunta dun sa cave. And then here on the right, this is the Tybeck Park. 
So tara muna sa Yan. Tara muna dun sa cave. There's an entrance right here. Ito yung entrance sa Philippine Mine Safety and Environment Association. Hindi na tayo papasok. Okay guys, so this one is the cave. So unfortunately, wala tayong flashlight to go inside. At hindi ko pa talaga siya na-explore ever since. So maybe one time. One time, pagbalik natin dito. Pasukin natin tong cave. You can actually see a very huge development dito sa Baguio Botanical Garden. And as you can see, marami na siyang structures. So before, itong area na to is just plain kagubatan. <laughs> Ngayon, meron ng mga ganito. Filipino Chinese Friendship Garden Okay mga kasining So itong bahay na to Ito yung dating art studio ng grupong Baguio Arts Guild So they were very active before For some reason nawala na sila dito So tara explore natin This one used to be an artist haven, gallery siya and also this is where the members of the Baguio Arts Guild hang out ngayon as you can see it's completely abandoned it must, ha it must have something to do with the permit but I remember before when I was still in college may bisita tayo dito for, to get those art inspirations as you can see ayan no may mga old canvas na nakahang pa ngayon and i remember the very first time na nakita ko to no ang galing ng wall the wall is made of i think sawdust at saka lupa and then mix them together along with i think this is bamboo rattan and they turn it into a wall and hanggang ngayon as you can see Ayan pa rin. Meron pa rin siya. Okay guys, silip tayo. So this is all what's left. Okay guys, so we are here at the old building of the Baguio Arts Guild. One of the famous art groups dito sa Baguio. Unfortunately, sarado na siya. And this is what's left of it. Anyway, it's still standing and I remember when I was back in college nung nag-aaral pa lang ako ng fine arts is pupunta ako dito to get art inspirations kung, kung hinahanap ko pa yung style ng art ko na eh and this is really the place one of the place na lagi kong pinupuntahan when I have spare time you know, para makakuha ng motivation and techniques and other things na to improve your art to improve your art career and yung mga yung mga yung mga idolo ko noon so dito sila noon before
Ito yung nadaanan natin kanina. This is the Thai Bike Park. Tara, pasok tayo. Pahinga muna tayo. Yan yung one of the things na ginagawa ko after painting, after matapos ko yung mga maraming paintings, painting commissions. Usually you get burnout eh. And kailangan mo ng ways para you know, to refresh your mind and just, just to relax for a bit para makapagsimula ka ulit ng bagong painting. And this is usually what I do. I go biking. Um, maraming lugar ang pwedeng puntahan dito sa Baguio actually to explore and to refresh your mind, to find inspiration. I don't know with you guys, but for me, just walking yeah, just by just walking sa nature along with nature actually that's enough for me to to clear up my mind and finally when I got home pagbalik ko sa studio I'm good enough I can start another painting and then paulit ulit lang siya. kapag nagpagod ulit ako kapag na frustrate ako I do the same this is one of the traditional houses dito sa Cordillera Na-explain sa akin, no? if you see this one, nagtataka kayo bakit may ganito sa pole niya. So, in-explain sa akin nung isa sa mga classmates ko sa sa UP before. So, kasi ang mga bahay doon, isa li, pinag-iimbakan nila ng mga kanin, ng mga bigas. At dahil doon, maraming mga taga, rats. So, kinakain nila yung kanin, yung bigas so para ma-prevent yun, meron to yun yung purpose nito para kung sakaling aakyat dito yung daga syempre mahirapan siya dito so there's no way na makakapunta siya across diba? so yun, yun yung reason nun kaya meron yan syempre kailangan mong tanggalin yung hagdanan para hindi siya dyan dumaan diba? Okay, here's another example of the traditional houses. So usually, yung mga bigas, sa taas yon, sa taas ng bubong nilalagay. Tapos doon sila sa papag natutulog. So, okay mga kasining, so I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Baguio Botanical Garden. So, sama ulit kayo sa next kong biyahe. So, if you like my videos guys, please like and subscribe. And, and I think every artist should do something like that. You know, yung...